Today I want to share with you the insight of JL Audio E110 subwoofer. Before we start, I just want to let you know that the reason I'm creating this video is not to change your mind or anything like that. I just want to share my excitement my... and the feel of awe when I open the uh, subwoofer. It's simply a fun thing for me to do. So I hope you enjoy the journey together with me. It's no secret that I tend to recommend JL Audio for most of my home theater design. So just for the fun of it, I open up a JL E110 subwoofer because it's not the highest end and it's not the entry level of JL Audio subwoofer. And it's the most used subwoofer from JL by my clients. So prepare to be impressed. Let's start with the plate amp itself. As you can see in the picture, the plate amp is installed completely separate from the subwoofer enclosure itself. So the vibration from the subwoofer don't affect the plate amp. So there's no vibration that being introduced to the plate amp. And the plate amp itself, as you can see in this picture here, it's impressive. I mean, this is not even the highest end uh, JL Audio. This is the mid-end JL Audio, and you can still see that the plate amp architecture and the build quality is far surpassing what's out there on the market. Now look at the speaker itself. That square in front of the speaker, that's the baffle of the speaker. That's actually part of the speaker itself. So it's extremely rigid and it's thick metal construction. All of these, including the gargantuan speaker size and metal construction will create a much more rigid uh, woofer. So when the, the bass kicks in, there's hardly any flexing happening inside the speaker itself. This will create a much more powerful subwoofer because there is none of the energy are being wasted in flexing the subwoofer construction. I mean, seriously, if you're not impressed by this, I don't know what else you're going to be impressed with. Even for somebody like me, who's already in love with JL Audio from the beginning, I'm still impressed when I open the E110. I didn't realize it's going to be this impressive. Just compared to other 10 to 12 inches subwoofer that I found on the internet, it's they are so puny in, in comparison to the uh, JL Audio. Yeah, JL Audio is not cheap, but you get what you pay for. And looking at all the pictures I can find on the internet, a lot of times you don't even get what you pay for. So what do you think? Are you still not impressed? Please share your comments down below and don't forget to click like, share and subscribe to my channel and also click the notification button so the next time I upload a new video, you will be notified. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.